a celebrity babysitter. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, yeah. <laughs> it's really Yes. Kids are a good audience for you. Oh my god. There's a moment with nothing on the UI, with no UI. Ah. Oh, I'm grabbing that. I will get that. I will get that, I swear. All right, let's, uh, let's start episode two. Let's. Writer. I don't know what you're saying right now. A jingle writer, jingle writer. You're just putting words next to each other? You have to give me context. Writer of jingles. Is this another Christmas bit? No, 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 no. A job for me to apply to, to write jingles. Like... Everybody here loves Lucas treats. Hey, gluten free, contain no wheat. So, hey there, friend, don't be a root. Tasty cubes! Comment say ever Lucas tasty ice cream cubes. How long were you working on that? Like 15 minutes? For the application? Oh, it's a spec jingle. I just need to find an ad company that hires freelance songwriters, I guess. If you saw Jingle Writer on a dating profile, would you swipe right? Welcome to Boba Apocalypse, where our flavors will end your wor- Oh, shit! Subsy. <laughs> Sorry, I went hard last night. I might actually be dead. How's Lukey doing on the job hunt? He is choosing... poorly. I'm right here. His procrastinations are prolific by my count. Two Muji notebooks of doodles, a master plan for a twibber bot, and one jingle. Queenie, I've been applying. Frank, I was fired once. I got superhuman at making paper airplanes. Back when Luca first moved in with me, I asked him to help paint the front hall, so instead he got really into glass blowing. No shit. <laughs> he flew in an old master from Italy, Fibonacci, I believe it was. They would stay up for days at a time working on the glass forge. I hardly saw him for a month. Okay, that's entirely untrue. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Well, I'm hungover. Wanna hear the special before I take five? Hit me. There's dragon fruit jelly and toppings this week. We're working on a dragon fruit flan, but it's dubious. Hmm. I'm out, friendos. Good luck, Lukey. I really am trying, you know. I know, but don't you have an offer already? Yeah, I do. I... This is a very Luca response. Yes. If I'm not gonna write personal work, why bother taking another creative job that pays shit? News from Thirst World? Mm, oh yeah. I think there's a cute music supervisor I need to respond to. Hey, do you want to see my pet project? Might be relevant to you, I don't know. Uh, pet, yeah, I don't know.
Hey, Luca. Oh, hey, Queenie. Itsu told me you're working on music now, hmm? collab so we're still feeling each other out seeing if it makes sense oh my god that's so exciting I hope hey so. how's I really it going songwriting outlet. i heard you're mega talented <laughs> thanks i try i'm actually thinking of teaching voice lessons to pay the bills great boba you sing too i trained for like 10 years actually that's so impressive and fucking hot <laughs> I think I'd be a good teacher, but why would anyone hire me? Like, I'm just a medium good singer, and a songwriter's only as talented as their output, you know? But you're outputting now, right? Sort of. I'm feeling like putting out too. Whoa. <laughs> God. Option three is what I would I'm ah. Yes, you would. Also, hi Xenon, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Sub demon goat. <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with option three. No, that's the disaster oh. option. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Luca, 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 Luca. You still with me? Uh, yeah. You know how I get about flan. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Incredible. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Mugs in your house start looking curvaceous. But throwing a wedding for your Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, but the mugs thing is funny as shit. It is. It truly is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Luca. Oh no. You know what's messed up? Ugh, that it's impossible to find a soulmate, like, even with the world and our phones. We love pets so much, even though it's guaranteed that they'll die before we do. Unless you get a tortoise or a, a parrot one. Oh yeah, those will <laughs> outlive you. I guess you could get a turtle. 
or some other dino that could outlive you. By and large, people choose pets based on love, not longevity. But who would choose to lose a best friend like that? Like, people say black cats are bad luck, but isn't every cat just an inevitable early end? Sounds like a lot of my relationships. Is that a horror movie or something? You still coming to the show? Oh, yeah, of course. Wouldn't miss it. Wait, remind me when? Saturday, 8. You'll like it. I stole a lot from the Tamagotchi you showed me. Eatser's coming, and, and Jay. I think I'll be able to make it. Can I text you? Um, sure. I was thinking we pay May rent a week early. I want it off my mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. You okay for June, too? Yes. Well, no, but there's time. Okay. Carter, I'll find a job and it'll be okay. Don't worry your gorgeous fucking head. Yeah, Dad, things are calming down a little. I, I'm sleeping, I promise. Good. Are you drinking alcohol at work? What? No. What are those bottles there? No, Dad, that's just... That's from the last session. Oh, these musicians. How did things go with Handsome Man? The work lunch? Yes, will you see him again? Mom, I'm not dating. He would be lucky to... You are not help, Jessica. Miss Hoang told me there's a new dating app for professional artist people. You should use it. Mom, I don't know if I can date another artist. Wouldn't you rather I find a doctor anyway? Ah, doctors don't hey, Nab. There's a no rich doctor in Los Angeles. The richest people in Los Angeles are musician and actor like a George Clooney. Okay, okay, okay. I love you both. I gotta go back to work. Work hard! The app is called Rosa! I love the writing in this fucking game so much. It's so, so good. This game's gonna sit with me for a while.
Ugh, annual crisis is the most watched esports event on the planet, and I can't get one meeting with the marketing director to review our Twitter schedule. Ugh, Peter Jung dodging your emails. His assistant is. I think he's off schmoozing on a press tour. At least you got to bring out Big Corky. Oh, God, I love a good color coding. I used to sort my Tabe mom by color. In the game? I didn't even know you could do that. All I ever caught was ramen sore and vanilla puff. Vanilla puff wasn't until Tabemon Silver. Though, I guess you're not really into animal games. Hey, I would argue that Tabemon are more food than animal. I don't know. Pikanood is like 90% cat, 10% noodle. Hey, Luca! I love this back. conversation. See you in the stand-up. I'm not back, I'm just visiting. Ugh, maybe this visit was a bad idea. Hey, is Carter doing okay? Uh, yeah, totally. Why? They usually text me back, like, immediately, and their mom was asking if I'd heard from them. Oh my god, you text with Alba Flores? Mm, she gets me. Carter's probably just rushing for that show on Saturday. Carter is more texty when they crunch, dude. No, 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 no. Maybe? Itsu, what do you think of her? Ooh, she looks intensely cool. I, I don't think I could handle dating apps. I'd rather meet someone IRL. The internet is IRL, Itsu. Wow. Insidious blimp. Just take the job, Luca. God, come on. Luca, don't be stupid. Take the job. Why <clears throat> are you doing this? Miguel, huh? Whoa, fuck. Itsu, I think I know this guy? A date guy? Oh no, from here? No, like, from the internet. Hang on. Oh, holy shit, Miguel Sweet. He runs- Starship Snack Club! Luca, what the fuck? I've never seen it. He's the creator of the show, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think he animates anymore, but he's writing the movie adaptation, and he voices Jet. I have a Jet keychain at home. Fuck, fuck, Luca, he's so brilliant. A famous man thinks I'm cute. Miguel has like 150,000 followers. That's him at the Animation Awards? Oh my god, I think this is him at Gabriella Loma's house. Uh, why would he be at Gabriella's? How do you answer any question about Gabriella? She's god rich. Oh shit, is that a shrimp sculpture of her dog? I want Gabriella to be my fairy godmother. She just has this look on her face all the time, like she's got me. Miguel has incredible thighs, fuck. And different glasses in every pic. And these baby blue ones will look so nice on me. Miguel and I could share sometimes? Is that him? Yes. Oh my god. Gabriella always reminded me of President Chef in the Tabemon TV show. Uh, Dwayne. Yeah, he was so cuddly with the Tabemon. That's why Dwayne always creeped me out. I was like, I don't know, man, that guy fucks Tabemon. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? I love you, Luca. <laughs> oh my god!
Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Stop oh, replying so fast. He's perfect. He's the hottest dad. Oh, hey, did Jay tell you I'm going in to record with her this week? Oh, nice. That's great. She was asking about you. Cool. Luca. Yeah, I'm sending her a new song this week. Okay, time to seal the deal. This is where all my training comes in and the beginning of my new life with Miguel in our animation studio. Uh... Luca. Oh no, Luca. Just go for it. Oh, Luca. No, chill, chill, chill. No, Luca, this is too much. This is too much, Luca. Luca, Luca, stop. Stop. Stop, it's too oh much. Oh my god. Well, I'm excited to hear what you and Jay are working on. Okay, that webcomic we commissioned for Annual Crisis isn't gonna publish itself, so I gotta get back to Big Corky. What will the fashion mech stands do without it? Luca, if you raid the kitchen, please do not take the last of the blueberry waters. You always do that. Hey, I wrote Mizu Vienna's backstory. I deserve the finest flavor. But so do you, so I'll settle for grapefruit. Hey, Floral. Yes, wait 15 minutes for oh reply. Oh my god. I choose you. Nerd. Back, Nerd. Fuck me, that is so good. My ears are crying. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Thanks. Love to keep the drama confined to the music. All right, I think it'll be pretty dope into Carter's visuals. I'm so happy you two are friends. Carter's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know them that well, but they do have stories. Okay, uh, give me one more run through and we'll take a proper break, yeah? Mm. Oh, and hey, embellish if you feel it. You're killing it, Itsu. Okay, I love this. Fuck. It was such a gorgeous little creature. And now, a caribou snail is extinct forever. <laughs> Miguel, I love how much you care about this. Anything worth talking about is worth caring about, Luca. You know, maybe the death of that snail is a good thing. Maybe the final snail was... Oh my god, Luca. <laughs> Oh, is this no. a reference to the snail meme? It must be. Yes, yes, choose deadly. Yes. The last remaining predator of bees in the region. Like, maybe all our bees have been dying because he's such a lethal little apex predator. I'm positive it's climate change. We're killing the bees. It's truly very bad. It's a real problem. Okay, but picture his gooey snail trail luring and trapping bees. <laughs> well, that's untrue, but cute. Sometimes the cutest things are the most dangerous. Oh. Do I need to be careful with you? Please. Fucking don't. smooth! Oh! <laughs> oh Fucking smooth! So sweet, though? I couldn't invent a more charming name. Oh, says the glamorous Luca Le Fay. You're everything out of a fairy tale. Well, be kind to me, and perhaps I'll give you my real name. My, my. The plot thickens. So tell me, Miguel Sweet, what's it like to be the hottest writer slash voice actor slash animation idol in town? <laughs> You're a gem. Talk to me about you. You're a musician. 
I am. Uh, I'm a songwriter for games, TV, uh, animation. That's wonderful. Are you working for a studio right now? Uh, not exactly. I just left Leviathan Games last week. I'm in between gigs at the moment. Katasa is hiring you now, Luki. Oh, well, I wouldn't make much of a bartender, I think. Miguel, who does all the music? Ah, oh, come on, you'd be great. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't do mixology. I get fired in a week the way I make drinks. Yeah? I've literally seen you ask to mix your own drinks here. Fired for sure. Uh, besides, music is really my passion. Do you have any idea the shit I haven't been fired for? You could spend half your shifts writing your lyrics and they'd still keep you. Uh, do you want another? I was going to suggest we get the next round at my place. Bro. <clears throat> There's literally no way to know if you've actually teleported or if you've been insta-murdered and replaced by an exact duplicate. And the duplicate would never know either. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone who teleports turns into a soulless shell? Maybe. <laughs> you've thought so much about this. I've watched a lot of Space Captain Egg. Speaking of horrors, your music has kind of a spooky vibe, right? Are you a horror person? Oh, absolutely. Anything psychological kind of reminds me of old operas. I don't really know what I mean by that. <laughs> Opera is terrifying. Trapped in a dark room with a bunch of rich people. It's so good, though. Mm. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, picture this. A sorceress named Alcina who rules her own island. And whenever a knight shows up on the shore, she seduces them, fucks them wild for a bit, then loses interest because they're knights and knights are boring as hell. So she turns them into fucking plants. <laughs> That's opera. Okay, okay, fine. I'm on board. Sex plants? Can I be Elchina? If you listen to opera, you can. It's my favorite one. I actually have a tattoo of it. That's beautiful. Yeah, I just like telling stories with music. I mean, all music tells a story, but... Opera cuts deep. Like feelings come and go so fast in three minute songs, but that's not how life works, you know? Opera lets you sit in a feeling. It, it lets the feeling breathe. Yeah, feelings. But th that's why I love getting wrapped up in the long stories of RPGs. I got into playing piano because I wanted to play the music from my favorite games. Do you know the Tales of Mishoria series? I don't really play games. There's an opera in six. No shit, really. In the game. Well, kinda. It's chiptune but there's this whole opera scene, and I'll show you if you come over sometime. They say she's a sorceress. Uh, strong as a stegosaurus. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. You know, she got that big time top by music producer biz. <laughs> Jay! She got a five gold re re record streak down that lapel. She make the other vocal sound like squeak. 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 Oh well, shit, this escalated quickly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure did. I want to kiss you very, very hard right now. Do you want that? Squeak. Uh, I don't know if that's... Yes, it means yes. Game got me blushing, me damn. Scene again? I think I can make the movement more believable. No, 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 Carter, you are perfection. You look like an android, for real. Thanks. Okay. And camera speed. Anna and Chip, scene 17. Everybody in position? Chip ready. Um, 
hey. Hey, Sleepy. Looks like you had a time in here. Yeah, sorry. Just a lot of work to get done. Well, I had a time last night. You should see Miguel's house. Dear Lord. I don't know which one. Which one is more Luca? Because <sighs> we can play him a certain way, but he's always going to be him. He has this floor-to-ceiling snow mural that you would love. Maybe you two will get married, and I'll visit. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up, Carter. Oh, hey, that's cute. What is it? Nothing. I have to run. Show prep. I'm glad you had fun with your daddy. <laughs> Thanks. He makes floral patterns look so professional. Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. I have my second date with Miguel, and I'm waiting to make sure that the timing works for him. Luca. Luca, don't be an uh, idiot. You are blowing off Carter at every opportunity. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Sorry, just my opinion. I love the three L's. Stop texting so much. Oh, God. You text too often. Luca, calm down. Hey, darling. I like... Hi, Luca. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Hey, darling. This is absolutely a Luca question. Yes, it is. What's the average lifespan of a cat? Domesticated cats can live between two and 16 years on average, depending on the breed. That's not really an average, is it, darling? How do I become a composer? Hey, darling, how do I become a composer? I don't think I can do that for you, Luca, but I like your shoes. Thank you. Hey, darling, play music by Omni Boy. Yeah, just talk to it, too. Hey, girl, what the fuck is up? Queenie, this is Jay. We've met, I think. Hi. Yeah, didn't know you two cuties knew each other. What you up to today? Work, mostly. Not yet. You? Working the whole day. We got a fresh shipment of apples, and I'm trying to convince the kitchen to throw them in the fucking dumpster. Apples, the trash fruit. Ugh, for real. Hey. You coming to Carter's special show tomorrow night? Jay's doing the music. Oh shit, nobody told me. 
I'm probably closing, but if I come through, I'll hit you up, baby. Mm. <clears throat> we should maybe talk. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should. You're really cool. No, you. I just want to make sure we're okay. Oh, this is a hard one to choose. Oh, no. Oh, God, yeah. What if every apple is a red delicious in the future? Oh, my God. What if every apple is just red delicious and that's why everyone hates apples? Oh, no. The worst thing to ever happen. Oh, no. I'm going to leave this choice up to you because I can't. Oh, God. I... I'm kind Ooh, of up in your friend group, and I don't want to make you uncomfortable. No. No, I had a really great time. And my friends love you. I'm not really dating right now. Oh, yeah, I mean, I just got out of a thing, and I'm busy, so... I'm not saying we can't do that again if you're down. I'm just... Yeah, I'm weird to date. Yeah, yeah. So, like, casual? Yeah, just don't let me hurt you. I like you too much. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. No pressure. Mm, just the right amount of pressure. <laughs> God. The show's gonna be so dope. Hey, thanks. You plus Carter, that's like two gods on one stage. I promise you I'll be hiding in the back. Yeah, cool, that's my zone. Insidious blimp, respond. Respond. Take please, the fucking job. Please take the job, Luca. No, don't. No. You idiot, Luca. Luca. Luca, no. Mm. You. And now you're just gonna sit and text Miguel. Luca, you fucking idiot. You're gonna ruin your goddamn life over some boy. from the beach? Yep. It was just last weekend. Nice. Uh, how's sis? We had dinner last week. She brought Shane again. Oh, <laughs> they sound serious. Yeah, seems like it. Hey, the uh, other night I found out that my client's brother works in video games too. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, in LA. Small world. Hey, I actually gotta run. Talk soon. No problem. Later. Later. Oh, hey. Hi. How's the track? I'm feeling it. You're my fucking hero on this piano. Do I get to wear a cool hero outfit? Oh, we can wear costumes if you want, Squeaky. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that sound? 
Oh, I'm at rehearsal. Show's in like two weeks, and we finally get to practice in the venue. Uh, are you supposed to be playing? No, no, it's fine. Not for another 60 seconds. <laughs> oh my god, get out of here. I just called to say I was thinking, what if we pre-game the show tonight? Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I really need to talk to Luca and find out what the fuck is up, so... I'd love to warm up for that with something better than club drinks and plastic cups. Okay, yay, great. Hmm. Do you know the Vice Room? It's not far from Katase. I've never been. That sounds amazing. What time? Seven. Get out of here. Okay, okay, bye. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> That's the same answer. That is the same answer, just with different <laughs> words. Oh, honey. Friends? Jay is so fucking horny. This is incredibly spicy. <laughs> this got way spicier than I thought it was going to. Yeah, I was not expecting to blush this badly during this stream. <laughs> that little frog speaks to my soul. I am feeling so much. Hi, are you excited? Oh, you came. Yeah, not too long ago. I'm just getting a drink. Do you need anything? I have a show. I, I can't talk right now. Is everything okay? I'll bring you some snacks later. Uh, okay. Don't! No, don't ignore! Luca! Luca! Luca, you're breaking my heart. Luca, you are fucking your entire life up. Upstairs, it's not that hard. No way. Well, he was gonna rat us out, you know. I, I didn't even think. It just I ripped the phone out of his hands. You ripped the bones out of his hands. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, dude, I it. Oh my fucking god! I have to show you Tales of Mishoria Four. It's my favorite JRPG from the last last console generation. I truly don't know what you just said. All right, let's get another drink, huh? I think your galaxy pal isn't gonna make it in time to chat. Are you gonna turn him into a plant? Eventually. This one is on me. Oh, shut up. I'm the one making us drink top shelf. It's fine. Yes, it is fine. This expensive whiskey and plastic will be dedicated to Jay Zhang, talented sound nerd, opera aficionado, crossfitter? Power lifter. <laughs> to you and me and the music you invited me into. I needed it. Thank you. Come by. Cheers. You think you could talk to Luca? Yeah, I can try. He's been a little preoccupied, but he cares. He's a fucking flake. He is. Yeah, I don't know. Flaky collaborators make me nervous. It's fine at this stage, but if we get further, I've been burnt by narcissists before and- Oh, Carter, Carter, come here a second. We're gonna cheers to you. Thanks. I think we're almost ready. 
And if we're not, at least Aries season is over. Wait, it's Taurus season now? Jay, aren't you a Taurus? Yeah, my day's coming, Monday. What? Fuck, cheers to that too. I've gotta run and check sound from the balcony. Luke is drinking downstairs. Ah, he's here? Downstairs, cool. The fuck? Me too, it's so important to listen to entire albums, right? Oh, excuse me for just a minute, I'm so sorry. Luca, you're so fucking stupid. Can't do anything about lag, sorry. Get his ass, Itsu. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully we can make Luca not be such an idiot. Luca is being sent bricks via text. And quite frankly, he's earned it at this point. Yeah, now he's going to talk to Queenie because he just wants to be in a relationship and he's a stupid idiot. And he's going to end up ignoring everything, including Carter's fucking show. And, oh, Luca. Your roommate is... <sighs> One of your best friends. Two of your best friends are telling you you're an asshole. <laughs> and one of them, like, needs you. No boba, thank fucking god. But I'm studying for midterm, so I'm already a little tipsy from exhaustion. Oh, you're in school? Fashion design. Whoa. And there's a significant age gap. Incredible music, right? I feel like I'm listening to a god. Yeah, it's good. You can just feel the bass in your heart. Sorry, hmm. like. Why, um, what are you doing here? You know, place. just different stages of life, I guess. I'm fucking with you, dude. Itsumi invited me, and a few of my girls were begging to tear up DTLA tonight. What are you doing here? We got a bottle of goose you're gonna need to help out with. By not choosing, you are still making a choice. Come around, paralyzed. 
us to rely on something bigger than this life. Crystal ball, show me all, all the ways I could fall. I rewind, I decide on something bigger than this life. I keep kidding myself, my lovers. I'm just like the others. Mm -hmm. Oh, God damn it, my mouse is unplugged, so I have to do this with controller. It's okay. I like these interactive music videos at the end of each episode. They're beautiful. Hey there. Room for one more? Uh, bar's wide open, buddy. No, I mean behind the bar. Is that job still open? I think so, yeah. Give it to me, please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're not gonna get fired for making bad cocktails? I'm sorry. <laughs> you sounded pretty sure on that date. I'll get you the application. Thanks a billion bucks. Hey, can I get a blank piece of paper too? Sure thing, Luke. Putting up with you is definitely the correct option. Yeah. And can I get a tequila too, please? Ah, uh, don't drink tequila, no. <laughs> I don't know, maybe one tequila is okay. <sighs> that was amazing. <sighs> yeah, I needed that, thanks. Thank you. Are you sure you don't want to stay over? No, thanks. Um, I don't stay over. Oh, okay. I gotta go into the office early tomorrow anyway. 
More Sunday crunch for annual crisis. Brutal. The shoulder tattoos. Oh, hey, again soon? And let's record more. Yeah, early next week? Sure. Oh, is it cool if I leave my car here? Sure, yeah. I, I can drive it to you tomorrow. Oh, it's cool. I'll just take a ride in the morning and scoop it up. Good night, you. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Keep it simple. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Writing a love letter? <laughs> Basically. Love song. Oh my god, is that from your show? What is that? Am I safe? No promises. Hey, a debug. This is Luca. He lives with us. Whoa. <gasps> uh, hi, Cybercat. I liked your snow. It gave me a cute idea for a holiday song. You're terrifying. Can it see me? They can. Seriously, that's incredible. What are you gonna call them? Ooh, what about... Bone Bone. Bone Bone. Bone Bone. Their name is Debug. <laughs> Cute. This little jiggly's really fucking cool, Carter. The whole show was. Thanks. I'm gonna keep them around the house cool oh sure pets without shits are the perfect kind it's nice to meet you debug please don't eat me in my sleep for jay yeah hi jessica we did not hear from you today is everything all right Test you a link to a Rosa app. Miss Huang's daughter found boyfriend there very quickly. If you're dating someone already, don't install it, okay? Okay, talk to you tomorrow. I'm fine, Mom. I'm not seeing anyone, and I'm very busy and happy at work. I'll call you tomorrow. I don't mind the glitches, to be honest. I think Debug minds. You know, I was thinking over what you were saying about pets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, so pets do die, but, like, everything ends, right? Like, I don't want to get dark, but every relationship ends eventually. Some sooner than others. Sure, but then your options are either try something or do nothing. There's more to life than pets and friends. Maybe the work matters. It can last. People make a lasting impact, I think. Well, you got me, for one, for as long as I last. And darling. Hey, darling. Domesticated cats can live between 2 and 16 years on average, depending on the breed. And you're not going anywhere, are you, Debug? They're going to outlive us both. I love you, Debug. Winton. Winton? I said that you got a humming. Weird. Hey, I'm sorry I've been kind of preoccupied. I know you've been working super hard, so I just... I want you to know I'm here. And if you ever want to talk... It's all good, Luca. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, I got a job. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bartending for Bex. Wednesday's my first day. Wow. That's really great. Bex says I need to buy my own apron if I want one. That can't be right. Why don't you ask Queenie where she gets hers? Oh, you're hilarious. You know, back in the 1950s, there was the biggest transport of live cats on record. Mm, tell me everything. World film forever. 
had just greenlit this huge animal adventure, and they needed a ton of cats, like a literal ton. But at some point on the way to Hollywood, in traffic on the 110, the truck door comes unlatched, and the whole ton of cats run off into the woods of Pasadena. That's why there are so many strays under the leaves. Well, that's episode two of We Are OFK. God, this... This is so good. I am very much enjoying this game a lot. It's so beautiful. you for the uh, hydrate and posture check, Nep. I actually need to get myself some liquid. Fool's Gold was a great song. Yeah, it was really good. That was... The emotional weight of this game is so much more than I expected. And it's so intelligently written. It's It feels very real and it feels like there are parts of everyone who worked on it in this game. Yeah. That's, I love that for them. <laughs> If I had done a gaudy list for last year, I this would be on it for sure. Oh, there's console versions of the game. I didn't know. Sam is doing a very strange walk in the kitchen right now. Like, um, excuse me, that was for you. Yeah, well, now I told everybody, so. Well, they can't see me. Mm, too bad. I know that I'm the chairman of Silly Walks, and I am perfectly allowed to Silly Walk in my own home. But what is the point if the people cannot see my Silly Walk? I can plug in the camera. No, don't do that. That's what I thought. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, no, this is just episode two. That's just episode two. We get credits every episode. This really is TV disguised as a game. <laughs> hey, Alex Preston! Yay! I was looking for names I recognize. George Watsky. Holy shit. Watsky. There, somebody has a pet named Tetris. Mm -hmm. We talked about that last time, I believe. I'm going to treat it like it's new every time. My brain don't work right. <laughs> and that's delightful for me. Everything's new. I love the Bob Apocalypse jingle so much. <laughs> anyway, that's episode two. We have three more to go, so three more streams will do this.